Do you ever feel like your JavaScript imports are getting a bit messy and unstructured? Especially when you use something such as React, where you're importing a lot of components, some hooks, and third-party libraries such as Redux. Today I'm going to teach you how you can go from something like this, into something with a completely customizable structure like this. So for example here we have our React imports are always going to be at the top, then we have our third-party libraries, then we have the utilities that I've written, and then we have the components that I have, followed up by the CSS. We're going to do this using a plugin that's built on top of Prettier. So if you don't already have that installed, please do that now. Let's jump into it. So to get us started, I've loaded up an example React project. This can be done in any JavaScript project, however, that has Prettier installed and configured. The one I'm using is ShadCN's taxonomy. This is a brilliant starter for Next.js 13, and it comes with server components utilizing the app router. The first thing we're going to want to do, however, is install the Prettier plugin. So Prettier plugin sort imports is the one we're going to be using. I'll leave a link to this npm page down in the description below. Go down to the install section and just copy and paste the command that's relevant to your package manager. A lot of you may be on npm. I'm going to utilize pmpm. If I paste that in, that's going to install this plugin for us. And the next thing we're going to want to do is go to our Prettier config.js. Now in here, if you don't have any plugins already installed, we're going to need to start a new line called plugins. And this is going to be an array with the plugin name. As I said, you may already have some plugins set up for you. So all you'd have to do is just add to that array. I'm going to paste that in there. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to run this prettier command now. And what that's going to do is it's going to sort with some defaults. So if I let that run there, that was utilizing pmpm run prettier, which is just a script I've set up in my package.json. If you followed a prettier sort of install guide, you may have something similar. If you don't, you can pause this and take a look at this. As I said, it's going to come with some defaults. So it's going to sort alphabetically by default. So at is at the top, and that's because it's a special character. And then everything else is going to be sorted alphabetically. This isn't sort of perfect for what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down on this NPM page, and we're going to get to some examples, and I'll talk you through them. So the first one up here is just going to be put specific dependencies at the top. What you're going to want to do is go into your prettier config.json, start a new line, call it import order, and that's going to be an array. I'm going to copy and paste in this array and make sure I put a comma at the end. So the first thing this is going to do is anything with React is going to be put at the top of our imports. Then anything that we haven't matched, so most likely a third party module, is going to be put underneath that. And then lastly, any relative imports we have. So it's going to look a bit like this. If you had a structure like this, it would, it would sort it like this. So if I go ahead and run Prettier now, you'll see that come into effect. So as you can see here, React is at the top, React hook form next, React text area auto size there, and that's because they have React in them. Now this isn't exactly what I wanted, and this is where this plugin can start to get really powerful. I wanted just React to be at the top, and I consider these third party libraries. So what we can do is we can utilize some regex. So if I go into my prettier config.js again, I can copy and paste in this line here. I'll leave this in the description below. But what this is, is just regex that says if it's react slash and then something exactly or just react exactly, put that at the top of the file. So if I go ahead and run this again and wait for this to finish up quickly, what you'll see is now react is at the top and those other ones have gone down the bottom because they're a third party library. They're not actually react. The next cool thing I want to show you is if you just leave a comma and put in an empty string, what that's going to do is just start a new line for the import. So it's going to separate them by a new line. So if I run that prettier command again, you'll see there's been a new line put underneath our React components. And I really like this as a method of sort of organizing your stuff. The next powerful thing we're going to utilize is this pass feature. So you may have noticed here I have some imports like at lib slash utils. This refers to this folder here, lib, and then utils. This isn't using those relative imports that we had. It's using the paths that I have set up in TS config. So as you can see here, I have at slash asterisk and then dot slash asterisk. What this is going to be is anytime I type at slash, just refer me to the root level of the project. If you have a source folder, it may be dot slash source slash asterisk. So I'll leave a link in the description on how you can set this up using your TS config.json. You can even utilize a JS config.json to do this in your JavaScript project. But what this is going to allow us to do is do some more powerful organizing of our imports. So 
So I like having my React and then third party modules. But then next, I'm going to want another new line. And then I'm going to want to sort my components so that they come next. So again, I'll paste in this regex here. Very similar structure to before, but anything that's at slash components slash dot asterisk or anything after that slash of components. Exactly. It's going to be sorted next. And then I'm going to put another new line underneath that. And this one down here, as I said, is just anything that's a relative import is going to be last. So now if I run that in Prettier, we should see a structure start to form that's nice and organized. So if I go into this, you'll see we have React at the top, followed by a space. And then we have anything that wasn't matched by anything we've already got set up. And then we have our components here. So if I'm looking for a component import, I can see it nice and easily here. And then again, lastly, we have anything that's sort of a relative import down below or CSS. The next thing I want to do, however, is I like the lib to be above the components, as you saw in there. It has some of my libraries still in there, so I want them taken out. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to paste in this line here and just modify it a little bit. So if I rename this here to lib, you'll see that anything in my library folder will be sorted underneath the third party modules, then components, and then anything else. So here you can see we've got the React at the top, followed by a space, followed by all of our third party libraries, followed by my library and my utils that I have, followed by components, and then any CSS. As I said, guys, there's some great examples in this NPM page. Also, you can check out Taxonomy in the link below that will have an example configuration of this. So there you go, guys. That was an example of how powerful this prettier plugin sort imports can be. If you have any more questions on how to use this, leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.